So hi, I'm back. This time we're in Birmingham, which means that I'm here for university. In fact, that started last week, and as of this week, I've been paid. So this video is brought to you by the EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. We do stuff. Science stuff. <laughs> anyway, being up here, you know, has been this kind of refreshing experience. There's been a big arts event with the Birmingham Weekender, which involved, amongst other things, a small cinema on a canal boat, a classical performance in a modern art gallery, and me staring at projections of screaming faces projected onto the trees. That was... that was something. Oh no! Snakes alive, scanning pixel by pixel! Well, now that I've been paid, it's important I do outreach, so... Let's talk about what exactly it is that I do, anyway. So, what I'm taking part in is a very new kind of postgraduate course. They typically call it a Centre for Doctoral Training, or CDT. This means, in effect, that there is a Masters that runs for one year, and is then attached to a three-year PhD. The reason for this is that with a normal PhD, you spend a lot of time at the beginning just learning the very detailed specifics of whatever it is that you're studying, and this can waste a lot of time, meaning they run on to three and a half or four years, and this might not strictly be necessary. So, with a CDT, you can just spend this first year doing a project and picking up all of the relevant skills and information during that time, in addition to getting to know I don't know, 5, 10, 15 other people who are studying something very similarly. And so when they go off to study their own disparate areas, or whatever your study focus is, you will be aware of other people working in the area. So it's combined networking and an introduction. And also, of course, if you don't like it after the introduction, you can just leave and you get a master's. So it's actually kind of convenient. Now, with Birmingham, well, that's what I'm doing, except we're not calling it a CDT. Don't actually know what we're calling it, don't think we have a name for it. It's in its second year, it's new. And I haven't said it yet, my programme is a Masters in Research, plus a PhD in Quantum Technology. Which... fancy buzzword. Very fancy buzzword. It's great. It's wonderful. Whatever it's called, it's basically a CDT. So this year is a research master's, which unlike, say, an integrated fourth year, is 180 credits, most of which, like 150, are a big project. And in our case, we're making magnetometers. I'll talk about what they are when I know what they are. I just don't have to build it. That's all the information I've got. So right now I'm reading through relevant information I've been given, and hopefully I will practice my critical reading skills in order to learn what on earth I'm doing, which is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it has to work, regardless of what we do, it has to work by the end of the six months. So I've got till March, April to make a magnetometer with about five or six other people. Uh, should be fun. Should be. Has to be fun. I want to do this PhD. Oh. But anyway, thanks to the uh, EPSRC for sponsoring me, my life, and this outreach. <sighs> right, so by and large I think that covers it. Uh, this first Masters year is starting. I've gotten to know most of the people I'll be working with this year. They seem like a lovely bunch. And the project itself actually sounds quite interesting. I can't wait to find out what a magnetometer does. Or rather, I know what it does. It measures magnetism. Um, I just don't really know how yet. And that's the excitement. Discovering. It may be difficult, there's going to be a lot of challenges this year, but there's a lot of challenges every year the further up you go. And even if I left, different kinds of challenges. However, I feel there are two ways of looking at a goal. One, how great that goal will be. And two, how much are you willing to sacrifice, or how much are you willing to sweat, put effort in, for it? And I feel that, for becoming a better scientist, I'm willing to put in a fair amount of effort and suffer a certain amount. 
Um, that's not to be negative, it's just to say, I think I'm willing to work. And I think that's an important thing to acknowledge because there will be highs, but boy will there be lows. Anyway, um, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. And speaking of suffering, I've always wanted to try this. So, here goes nothing. That was not that bad. I think I do quite like lemons. Bye!